You know, I used to not really eat breakfast that much. Now, I mean, with him, I'm already up early, so I figure I have the time to make some food, so that's, that's a big change I've had, and I feel a lot better from it. Usually just two eggs, sometimes yogurt and like oats and stuff. For help you want your breakfast? You don't even eat it. You want people food, don't you? <laughs> Back home, even when I was at home, I'd, my workouts would be at 6.45 in the morning, so during the summers I'm pretty used to it, but I like the, the 10.30, 11 o'clock practice during the year. Wait, shake, shake, good boy, good boy. Wednesday's more of a recovery day. We can get our legs back under us for Thursday and Friday, but usually it's it's every day. Probably pretty tough. You know, very good chance of puking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe. We'll see. We just actually entered into our fourth phase of our off season. Each phase is broken down into two two week segments, so they're basically a month in length. So we're in our 14th week now, and so this segment of what we're building towards is actually getting more ready for the season's demands. So the goal of today was to elicit that sort of response, to build up their lactate levels in order for them to have certain levels of threshold, but still exude speed, power, uh, and recover pretty quickly from that. And directly on top of the heel. It's a lot of fun to, to be here with some of the other guys and just have a good time while we're working out. Gonna stay on the one leg the whole time for this first part. That's your job. So you're fighting for a spot every day, even in the summer. And a young guy like me, I'm trying to take away everything I can from the older guys we work out with, and hopefully it translates on the ice. Knees stay underneath the hips. Even shorter there, Al. Yep. Oh boy, now come on, get it. <laughs> See, the, the, the best thing about having a young athlete, especially like Alex, is, the, is him being a sponge. So with him, he was accepting of what I asked him to do right off the get-go. And I give him a lot of credit for coming here and, and dedicating his off-season to being here. It's a great city to be here. We have a great space to be training in. But honestly, like I take it a little bit more at home and saying like, now he's entrusting me with the development of his career. He had an amazing year for his first year. And uh, that's, that's the bar. So now we want him to exceed that bar. So how do I help him get past that bar? He's done it on every level, and he has to continue doing it at the highest level. Good. Drive, good. Quick switch, bong, drive. Got a boy, speed, nice power there, good. You get all your strength in here and a lot of big guys in the league and a little guy like me, I think I, I need to be strong and balanced to not get knocked off the puck pretty easily. Uh, it's pretty hard, I think. Uh, you know, it takes a few sessions to get used to it and, you know, even at the start of the summer, it, it's pretty tough and, you know, the first few workouts and, I mean, it's good. It gets you back in shape pretty quick. But Alex, in terms of where he was last year, comparing it right now, it's a 180. I mean, it really is a 180. It's not even close to what he's able to do and sustain at very high levels. He has the expectation to do it himself. Versus, hey, I did it one time, I'm good. Now he's like, I need to do it four or five times and be able to recover and do it after a minute and a half rest. He has that understanding of what the demand is. Some people I haven't seen in a bit, they're like, wow, you've gotten pretty big. That a boy, that a boy. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Legs get tired, keep pushing hard. Keep pushing hard, come on. Get up quick. He's incredible, like, and, and I'm not just saying that. Like, he is really a very special person, a, a special athlete. In a game seven, when the game's on the line, that's a guy I want to be suited up with. 